speaking is all about. This is about getting the right tool for you and me to build a really long-term and good loyal business. I've been working with Peter now. My name is Bjorn Olstedt. I reached the senior president three-star level, which is the level 18 in the company. And I'm practicing Peter's skills uh, all the time. And that is the key, key to success. You can have a lot of different uh, ways of working, but when it comes to principles, then Peter is the master. And I'm learning from him every day uh, and working together is something that has made, I think, crowd one to what it is today. And you can see that most of the successful people are on the Sunday school. Whether you are a professional networker or not, we can always learn something. And that is, is why I see that Peter is one of the absolutely most um, uh, and best trainers out there. He has done it before, built millions of people with pen and paper and uh, always practicing and practicing. It doesn't matter whatever he go into. And uh, I'm so happy that I got his uh, teaching during my years that helped me to build and help duplicate. So I hope that Peter is with us today and will deliver something that you and I can use in our daily life and practice and help our teams. And the best, if you can, make sure that you, your team are in the place. Peter, are you here and are you ready? Yes, I am here. Thank you. The stage is yours. Thank you, Bjorn. And welcome, everybody, to this webinar. Uh, wherever you are, if it's like for me, really early in the morning, it's uh, a good early morning. Uh, if it's in the afternoon or lunchtime, it's good day and good evening to uh, people in Asia and um, who are on another time zone. Yeah, like Bjorn said, uh, we have these webinars um, almost every Sunday, except for when management or we're traveling and it's impossible to, to do them. Uh, so if you're new here on this webinar today, uh, you'll know that you will get a link sent out by corporate uh, that you can register. And if people don't get the link, you can send it to them. So make sure your team is on these Sunday trainings. Not because this is the world's best trainings, uh, but because we all need some repetition. We all need some motivation, inspiration, and uh, we need some ideas because some, sometimes we get stuck. You know, sometimes we get stuck in our own thinking and then it's good to have you know, just a one-liner or something that reminds us of, of um, what direction we should go. And like Bjorn said, this is for this webinar we have conducted, you know, almost for a year now. And what we do is, it could be any theme, it could be any subject that we talk about. So this webinar is for everyone. It's for leaders, it's for top leaders, it's for people who just started. Um, and building, but it's 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 of course the beginning of a leadership webinar. Um, so I think we also have we have of course this is not sent out to everyone in Crowd One, all uh, two million members because we have a level. So so if you if you get this uh, email, you reach a certain level where you have started to to start become a leader and. That's why we have these webinars, because if there's no leadership, there's no business. I'm telling you, you know, some people, they put the trust in money. And I can tell you, wow, what a mistake. Because if you give uh, a, a guy or a person without education a bunch of money, you have an uneducated millionaire. And that's not good. Same thing as you give uh, a, an idiot a million you have a you know very rich idiot so money is not doesn't solve every problem we make we make a lot of money and you guys make a lot of money um in cloud one of course but to keep that money and to make that money grow and to spend it on right things and help people in the community you need to grow 
you need to grow your your uh, own person that's why we have personal development you know because leadership is not about we had a we had a, a tremendous event in in durban uh it was just amazing i don't know 9000 people at the event we have uh, the day before we had three leadership trainings actually four we had one top top leadership training and then we had three um leadership trainings on friday and i think everyone who walked out of there were really satisfied and uh we talked a lot about you know leadership is not about creating followers leadership is about creating new leaders that means that you got to have a system to work and that's why we have these webinars we try to to um uh give you some ideas of of uh, how to build your business and maybe you build it before and you're a top leader doesn't matter you can always you know get some ideas out of what we're talking about and you know our business why do we grow so fast you know well it's an online business and it's you know the the business the industry has changed in a way because of technology we talk we talk a lot about this and that's why going so fast you can you we, we have the five minute business as you and us used to say we can work this business really fast you it's the on, only thing you need is a mobile phone you can have a computer but you know when you have a phone it's really fast you can download the app and bam you know you're you're on you can do this business but this business doesn't grow Uh, out of the phone it grows out of law of multiplication the law of multiplication that means that is so fast is way faster than we can imagine our, our mind can almost not wrap around the idea of how the law of multiplication works but that also works in two ways if you have the wrong duplication it, the law of multiplication works even in a negative sense everything multiplies so fast that you can't control it that's why it's so important to have a system because everything you do will multi will multiply or the bad things and the good things or and you know i stress this because i've seen so many organizations uh so many teams that had potential that could be huge and you know some of them don't get there and some of them even die out because they have the wrong duplication so the law of multiplication works in both ways or both in the good and in the bad i said the leadership is not about creating followers it's about creating new leaders that's why when we start this business people got to have an idea what to do the the next step what to do immediately because you can't travel we have leaders who travel all around the world they're in russia they're in colombia they're in south africa they're in kenya they're all over the world in asia dubai uh, europe uh, doing meetings you know in at hotel meetings and of course they can't be everywhere and and uh, if that would be the case this wouldn't have grown as fast as it has but leadership give other people a purpose you know leadership give other people a meaning people follow good leadership so that's why we have this system and the system is easy i'm not going to go in detail the system but i will give you an idea you know how to conduct the business and if you haven't already you you already built you know a couple of hundred or thousands of people you can implement it now You, you it's that's never too late and this system has worked for ages it, there's no there's no uh, miracle about it it's just a good system and you know the system is about we have a first look and that could be you know you send out uh, a link or you you uh, a short movie or you call people up and tell them about this business you send them um, a link to a webinar and then the first look is always the first look but the first look should always lead to a second look that means when people had have a first look you, 
you should be surprised how many people not going forward in the system because people don't follow up. And that's so important in this business. When you had had the first look, you got to listen guys, write this down. A meeting should have one only one purpose. It should lead to another meeting. So when you have had a meeting on the phone, on a web, on in person at the cafe, when you are finished, that person should know where he or she is going next. So one meeting should lead to a new meeting. So a first look is just a first look. Then you lead, you put them in the tube, so to say, in the system. So first look lead to another presentation, a short presentation on the web or you know uh, in person at the hotel meeting, wherever it is. Then the next presentation is a business. Uh, we call it business planning session or you know hotel meeting where people can get the big picture. They can realize that, wow, you know, I'm not alone. And, you know, uh, they see other people and they, they see that this business is growing. And the fourth um, block in the system is the event, the big event we had in Durban, for instance. So, guys, but the, the principle behind a system is that it's got to be easy to understand. It's got to be easy to duplicate. And it's also got to be easy to do, you know. So now when we had the technology, we, we, uh, we can use this system. doesn't matter. You can do it in person. You can do it on the phone. You can do it by, uh, in front of your computer. But you got to have the system. And you got to follow the system. And the system has another purpose. It, it's because, you know, when, you, when your organization is growing all over the world, because it's will. It will. Uh, if it's already not doing it, it will. Then you got to make sure you got to have a control system so you know that people are doing the business in the right way. You know, you're uh, thousands of miles away. You got to know that people are doing the same way because what happens, like I said, with the law of multiplication, otherwise, everything you duplicate, duplication is, is common in this business. If you never heard that expression before, duplication is that people actually do what you do. It's like kids. When, you, when you're bringing up kids, they don't do what you tell them to do. They do what you do. And same thing in this business. Your people will do what you do. So that's duplication. And we, we can't afford to have um, the wrong uh, stuff doing, you know, people doing the wrong stuff because then it will go not too good. Okay. So leadership create a meaning for people. You know, they, they trust leaders because they see that they have um, leaders have a purpose. Leave it, leaders have set goals. So I will put some, which I call key people. Because when you do this business, you present pe the business for people. People don't immediately are leaders. There's no such thing. Even, even you know, there, there are, of course, people who have some education and they've done this before, and it's easier to work with them because they they have some kind of knowledge. But I have a thing here where I, I, I have a whole chapter in my book called The 12 Step to Success, uh, and it's called Key People. And your key people are the people who will actually become the le real leaders because key people are... Uh, people who have an open mind, you know, who have uh, an ambition, who have a, a great attitude. So I have a couple of points which you, where you can actually locate key people. So is this guy a key people? Is this guy, you know, when you start working with, with people, have you ever realized that, of course you have, that uh, people, they say something and they do a total different thing. You know, they say, oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to build and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And they don't even show up. They don't even show up. They don't deliver. So they are not key people. You realize that. Yeah. So what are key people in this business? Key people, they set goals. And that's the first thing you got to help people in the system. You got to help them set some goals. And the goals from the beginning is going to be, of course, short term. But they're also going to have long-term goals. And 
goals is dreams with a deadline. You heard that before. Goals are dreams with a deadline. That means that if, if you write something down, you want to accomplish it, it's got to have a date, an end date. Other than that, otherwise, it's not a goal. Otherwise, it's a wish. And a wish will most, most common not come through because everyone has wishes. Everyone wished to be rich. Everyone wished to uh, you know, be a, a success. Everyone wished to have a huge organization. Everyone wished to have a nice car. But wishes won't help you because this business is about doing it. And leadership is, is definitely of being a doer, not a wisher. Okay, so key people, they set goals. Key people also follow the system. You can, you, can, you, can, you can study your organization with people that you bring in. Of course, it's going super fast. And also, that's why you need to have this uh, thinking that you need to, to you, so you can see where that key, pe uh, key people pop up. You know, They follow the system, but they also show up to meetings, to events, to webinars. You can't call yourself a key person if you're not even show up on a webinar. How hard can it be? You have a link. You can be in your car. You can be everywhere. There's no excuses. People have so much excuses because they are, they are trained that way. You know, the culture in the world is to, they think they can get free things. There are no such thing. There are no such thing as a free lunch. There's always a price to pay. And, but people have excuses because they are afraid. They And I will go into that later. So key people, they set goals, they follow system, they show up, they take action. Key people, your key people in your business are the people who take action. So you can have one guy who, for instance, take a lot of action, but he doesn't show up and he doesn't follow the system. He worked the system in his own way, you know, in his own ego way. Uh, that means he's not a key, key people. He's not one of your key people because he will destroy your business. He will do stuff that will hurt your business. So key people also educate themselves. And you can see that showing up is a big part of educating. If you don't show up, how can you educate yourself? Is, are you going to educate yourself? That's like being your, your own lawyer. That's pretty stupid. Anyway. So key people, they have these, you know, this, these are just five, you know, um, ideas. You can have your own, but these are really good to study people when they work. Because the purpose of a system is to create a long-term business. Long-term business. Because when you have this in place, you can, you can easily see when you have people following your system, that means residual income for everyone. What people don't realize, they, they, they model a little bit here and a little bit there, and, and that, or they don't follow the system, or they do it, you know, they don't really care. They just throw people in, and then they don't take care of them. Then you will have a lot of confused people who think this business is something that is not, you know. That it is a lottery, you know. We work with with the uh, lotter lottery, but this business is not a lottery. This business is a business, and if you treat it like a business, it will pay out like a business. And so, if you go back to what I'm what I've been talking about today, is that number one, it, law multiplication works anywhere, everywhere. And, you know, in the way, so if you put something negative in the multiplication, that will duplicate. So that's why you need to put people in the system, tell them, this is the way we do it. You know, it's easy. You know, you, I will help you. And real leaders, they help their people. So you don't have a bunch of people out there uh, who are signed up. They have no idea what to do. They think they bought a lottery ticket and they go home and say, "Wow, he told me I will make millions. I just signed in. And that's not the case. People will not make millions just by signing in. So you got to have some truth, some, some morals, some ethics, some ethic moral codes when you work. 
So that's also a big part of being a leader. That is to tell people that you don't need to exaggerate this business. It's too good. It's too good. It's so good. We don't need to put some extra stuff on top of it. So that's why we need personal development. Because personal development is the key. And I will go into a little bit of this so you can get an idea uh, and how this works with finding your key people. A key people, like we said, he's, he, he is open. He's have, he have a great attitude. You know, he's like, yeah, yeah, show me, show me, show me. That's, that's a good sign of, a, of a upcoming key people, key person in your, in your business. Because why do we need personal development? Well, listen to me. We're born into this world, and the regular school does not teach us how to become successful. The regular culture out there does not teach us how to be successful. Totally the opposite. Totally the opposite. So the culture in, in society is actually telling us to do the opposite stuff to be successful. That's why it's so important when you have a person that you see, you, you see potential, you see potential in that person. He needs to put on an education system. That's why we have these webinars. There are so many things out there, books and you know, online stuff and on YouTube that you can, you can learn from. But personal development is mostly two things. It is getting rid of fear because fear is what keeps people in slavery, in bondage, in, in, uh, in a slavery mindset. And it's also about leaving the comfort zone because every time you leave your comfort zone, if you haven't heard the, the word comfort zone, you probably have, but I'll go through it anyway because maybe there's someone here on the webinar that haven't heard it. A comfort zone is the zone that you feel comfortable in, you know? So that's why it's called comfort zone. You're comfortable in that zone, which means that that is. All the stuff that you learned up until today, you feel comfortable doing stuff. And you you not feel comfortable doing other stuff. That means you're outside of your comfort zone. And I can tell you, write this down. All the success is outside the comfort zone. So some people are afraid of talking to people. Well, you need to talk to people in this business. You got to go outside your comfort zone. Some people are afraid of, of uh, 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 they're actually more afraid of being successful because we are trained to, to, uh, to actually bother about what people think about us. How stupid is that? You know, what does it matter what people think about you? Nothing. The only thing that matters is what you think of yourself. And we have something in, in, in Sweden, in Scandinavia, we have something called the Yanta Law, which means is that people are envious of other people who are successful. They also don't like that people are successful. They also want to destroy people that are successful. And maybe you have a little bit of the Yanta Law uh, all over the world, but it's really extreme in, in the Scandinavian countries. But anyway, so fear is what pe keep people holding back. Fear. And that fear, uh, you heard that before, was, you know, fear is, is false evidence appear real. So it's actually something that appears to be real, but it's not. Because fear does not exist. It's all in your mind. It's all in the people's mind. That's why personal development, when you set goals, you're leaving your comfort zone because you're doing something you've never done before to get something you that you have never got before. And that's, you know, that is also a, a principle. You cannot get something new if you don't do something new. So you're leaving your comfort zone. It's really, we're going to do a whole webinar on the comfort zone, but I will just go some basics. 
So whatever you decide to hear, listen to, and read, you become. So that's why people say stick to the winners. You know, hang around people who are going somewhere. You know, hang around people who have a plan with their life and who are not listening to dream busters. Oh, you can't do that. There's no way you can. Oh, th that's going to be crazy. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that's what's keeping people from doing and fulfilling their dreams. They're staying inside. The, you know, it's more comfortable to not doing than to do it. But I'm telling you, it's outside the comfort zone where you are uncomfortable where the results are. You will not become successful if you're not leaving the comfort zone. You've got to leave. You've got to do something that you're afraid of. When you do it, fear disappears. Action is the great fear killer. As soon as you have people and you, you see that they're, they suffer from a little bit of fear, tell them, go do something. Do a presentation. You know, action is the great fear killer. You know, and... In, in the process of doing this, when you decide to become a leader, when you decide to become a key person, or you're looking for other key persons, in that process, you will inspire others. That's why Bjorn and other leaders are so successful, because they've gone through this school. They also started, you know, everyone started from zero. Everyone, everyone, everyone started from zero. Zip zero nada. One time, one day, someone started. I did too. And I had good mentorship. I had a guy who was not afraid of telling me the stuff I needed to hear instead of the stuff I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear, oh, Peter, you can stay home and I can, I'm going to build the business for you. So, so good luck and stay home and make some coffee and, you know, have some more sandwiches and every, everything's going to be fine. That's what I wanted to hear. But I'm telling you, that's not what he told me. He's, he told me, you got to step up. You got to do something. If you don't do it, I'm not working with you. He put some pressure on me because pressure is what makes things grow. You got to put some pressure on yourself, but also on the people you work with. And if people are lazy, well, that's, they're going to have, you know, not so good results because laziness has it's no part of this and that's also fear you know that laziness is is fear it's based out of fear why are people you know why don't people do stuff you know why don't they go out and do stuff because they suffer from possibility blindness which is also based out of fear they rather not do something that can make them look stupid or people can tell stories about them or they are afraid of what people think or say about them so they don't do nothing and you you gotta number one get rid of that immediately because it has no bearing whatsoever you know the three p's principle passion and purpose are leadership the cornerstones you know so Personal development, that's why we need to help people. So you can see what I'm talking about today, that it, it actually makes sense. You start this business, you you, you got to have, go back here, um, you got to have, you have the law of multiplication. That's there. doesn't matter what you do. You can't change that. It will multiply. It will duplicate. Then you have the system. The system where you, you give people a chance who never done this before to actually succeed. They just have to follow the system. And in the process, in the system, you're looking for key people. Because when you put people in the, the system, some people will fall out, you know. And the key people, how do you how do you identify them? Well, these are the five common denominators. People are open-minded, have a great attitude. They set goals, they follow systems, they show up and take action, and they educate themselves. So why do we talk about education? Well, when people also, I started this webinar with this. Money is not the solution. Money follow solutions. Money, you give an idiot a million, you have an idiot with a million dollars. And it won't help him. 
because he need to change. So money won't change. Well, money can change people, of course, to the worst. But we want people to be successful in life. We want people, we want to have a success story. We want people to go out and change their communities. We want people to be part of something big, something huge. If you know what you want uh, von Holstein has in mind for you guys, because since he stepped on board, you know, we have such an opportunity to do something that people are going to be off or they're going to go like, wow, that company that started back there, you know, uh, five years ago, 10 years ago, and they're still around doing amazing stuff because I think what it ends up with, if we can't help other people, why are we even doing it? You know, it, there's no personal... You can sit there like, you know, with all that money and all that material possessions. But if if it has no use in real life, you can't use it all. You got to you gotta give it away to keep it. Write that down. If you have something, whatever it is, if you want to keep it, give it away. If you have it, if you have a lot of education, if you have a lot of power, give it away. If you have a, if you have money, give it away. And it will come back to you. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a principle because you can't keep what you don't give away. So I have a higher purpose than than most people with this business. I want to help you guys, if I can, to develop yourself, to be part of something bigger, something greater that you, people never seen before. Imagine when we gather all the success stories and we, we put some some stuff out there, what, what we have done. You know, with all the money that we create in the business, then we will have no enemies. We will have all people going to applaud us, are going to applaud you for doing. But then we need personal development development in this in this organization, in this company, because otherwise it will go astray. Relationships, guys. We're building relationships. And listen, you will have true friends when you do stuff. There, I mean, not everyone will will uh, applaud you. Of course, you know some people will be crybabies, and but then you know they're not a key people. But key people don't cry. People, key people don't complain. You know, so we're building relationships, long term relationships will be will make long term business. That's why people need to. Be plugged in so they can change. Because change is the most important thing in the world. The universe is in constant change. And still, it's what most people are afraid of, change. And it's the thing that's constant in the universe. Right now, everything is moving. Right now, everything is changing. And people are afraid of that because the culture out in the society makes them believe that change is dangerous and it's not change is the the number one number one come denominator for everything so really we're building relationships guys long term and that's what people will thank you when you are true when you have some morals and when you are doing this business for real they will stay with you they will not stay with you if you cheat, lie, steal, or do something bad. So that's why we need real leadership. We, lead, we need leaders who lead people who are actually taking care of their organizations and, and make them grow, you know, make them grow in their mind, in their soul, in everything. So that's why we have these webinars. I know I went too far, but uh, still it doesn't really matter. You know, all information is good. So, guys, uh, you're doing an amazing job out there, and um, we appreci appreciate the leadership you're doing. So, guys, next webinar, next Sunday, and leaders, always show up. I hope you got something out of this webinar. If you didn't, it's not my fault. Then you may be need to listen to another webinar to get the right information okay guys but listen up you know the rest of your life will be the best of your life 
See you next Sunday.